I literally stopped the last recording and just came straight back to this empty bottle of pills rather than start in the title screen. Figured might as well keep this going. Oh, the door. What a good kid. This is fourth chapter called My Imaginary Friend and it's again split into two parts, so hooray! I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look, I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into Aethersta? Actually, you fell into, like, Hellville first. No, wait, no. This was after Hellville. Okay, yeah. Let's keep going, Kay. We have to be careful now. Pills here! <laughs> that is very strange. Yes, well done, guys. Well done. You're very observant. I'm, I'm happy for you. That's suspicious as shit. Zips in. It's okay. I have been trapped. I should have touched the pills, bad friend. Knife. Fucking face! <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't swear so much. Yeah, do you know that would actually be really hard? Hello, darling. You're not trapped anymore. <laughs> Interesting. Edward, your faithful friend. Uh, do I know you from somewhere you seem familiar? You, well, I guess I just played it, but you know, it was the dude from the box in the library. Creature of the night, we've been playing together. Helped you get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find the kitty on my own. Well, he did help you. Aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No. It wasn't me making the sisters mad, they believed it was me. But that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by, they never looked into themselves? They blame me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. Oh, Jesus. Well, let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? <clears throat> There's more little details, but I guess this one's more like... Well, a lot of this is just how you yourself interpret it, but like... Going into the second game, it seems like the sisters went through a certain thing that happens and I guess didn't succeed or didn't accept the help properly or something. I don't know. Well, I think after I finish this late game, I'll need to get straight into Little Misfortune and go through that. Like, well, it's all fresh. I'll just do it all one in the row. Because I, I refer to it like so much, it's like, it'd be dumb not to really. Me. Dear friend, the long man with the top hat. Came by tonight, told you stories when you were just a little baby. Came to you after you imagined me. Not imagining, you see, I'm part of your reality. You look quite familiar, I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. But no. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? Can't let you do that. I don't know you. I'm not you. I'm not made out of darkness. I am your friend. You seem nice. I'll go with you. But I won't trust you yet. Well, that's fine. I have something to show you. Oh, he's a tall boy. Don't fall. I really like his outfit. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, ticky ticky tick tock. Behold the flying machine. What do you think? Ah, I love it. Many buttons to push. Yes. Of course, piece of machinery. I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 2.35 yet. 
That sounds great. But what's about 235? I don't understand. Neither do I actually, but still one gives us a chance to enter that word. Inside that rug, we can that rug. Bleh. I'm not I'm very tired, sorry. We can travel where we want to go. Right now we should stand on the endless limits of the second reality. I thought we were in the third reality because she's back in Humanville. Well, I guess it could be implied that she went in a completely different world when she went in the tube in the first place. I don't know, forever. But you're a part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes. I understand it sounds insane. Just wait until you're done fixing the machine. Of course not. You can help by getting water and fireberries. Yeah, okay. Something than nothing at all. What a good attitude. And made bucket for the water. I made it myself. Which berries to pick up because of the fire? <laughs> I just ask, why do you need berries in the water? Ah, oh, berries are good fuel, they last many, many hours. The water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know. But we do know they like, don't like water. Oh, almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see? Here. Bill's here. Invisible to my eyes. Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to get spells earlier, but trap caught me first. Oh yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. You could have said hello. Just throwing it out there, lad. I'll let you wave it because you have a very nice outfit. I'll be right back. Great. I'll prepare the machine. I want to touch the owl. Let me touch the owl. Yes, as grand. You can sing, birdie. Fly when we depart. Berries! Cat. Me too. If it breaks while we fly, we can get hurt. You're right. That's scary. Well, let's keep calm and predict such thing. Oh, okay, whatever. Um, I think I just need to go straight into Pillville because I've already seen all the screen. Veins on the ground. That's what happens. That's so fucking normal. You're just taking a lesson straight now, huh? Hello, friend. Trespassing on my territory. I thought you were dead. Possible thing, though. You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, Mr. Moose. You seem all rotten and bloody. I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Misunderstanding? Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose, but I'm not a moose, I'm a... Deadly worm. A deadly worm? No, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I give back to the soil what creatures took from it and don't need any more. I only see a talking moose. What are you? Down here, creature. Can you see me? My name is Fran. Hello, Fran. You can ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Not only the scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Hell. It says hell instead of home. I just noticed that. Um, of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb onto it to reach the fireberries. See, I think that's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But fireberries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire. I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that. Claim on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, friend. What a good boy. I like him very much. Face. Touch it. Touch it. Right. Can I do that shit? Must not be letting me do that yet. Okay. <laughs> but they're on fire. Mm -hmm. Snickety snack. Don't fall, my dude. Oh dear. 
Can't jump down. Go break my legs. And I go loopy again. Yeah, I very clearly go from home to hell. Let's go speak to Mr. Face. Thank you for your help. Get out, scavengers! Visit me when I die? I was going to visit those whom time left behind. Don't worry. That sounds good. We'll see each other again when I'm very old. I'm about to turn 11 years old soon, but that's not too old, so not yet. I'll see you when the circumstances are right. 11 years old and so firmly attached to the concept of death. I'm fucking 33 now. 33? Am I 33? No. Am I 32 turning 30? Oh, this happens too often. I think I'm turning 33 this year. Ugh. I'm dumb. Anyway. You the shiny insects that are stuck on trees because of curiosity. We usually get stuck, yes? How do you know? You're not one of us. I bet you're kind. I help them get free from curiosity. Oh, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Are you stuck? No, at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Moon. Fell into thirst that there was no water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you help me with this bucket? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not gentle. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. Alright, we'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Thank you, you're very nice. Fill the whole bucket up, please. Shploop. The bucket is now full of water. Thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere. We all wish to belong. But does home belong somewhere? Didn't really understand the question. That's a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that. You are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. I guess that's like some rhetoric about love yourself, I guess. Thank you, hair friend. Time to move. Hell. Oh, Fran actually comments. Well, no one to go there. It's alright, Fran. Hell's no real. Stop eating my carcass, you fuckers. Or some water. You just gub them with it. Right. Shplop. Did you find the fire berries and the water? We need them for the journey back home. Alright, okay. How's the this, sir? I brought the fire berries, but they're not on fire anymore. They will do just fine. Thank you very much. Okay. Have some water. The bucket full of water. I got help from shiny insects. You mean the luciferns? They are nice, yes. But only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you see them in the fifth reality. They could burn you. Well, I haven't been in the fifth reality yet. Don't recommend it. What's reasonable there? Maybe the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you. 234. The general will begin. Let's go inside the machine. You did not fit inside that. Hello, cat. Do 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 bird. Take a wee drink. Ah, <coughs> we take the target in good condition. Teddy bear. Are you excited? Understand more. Answers are not easy to recognize. Sounds strange. Time goes it has to in order for you to be alive. Okay. You'd probably explode. Answers will come to me when they want. Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say 
Through time, you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answer will come when you find them, not when others tell you how or where to find them. You woke up my curiousness. It's the best thing you can do if you're so curious and you'll always be amazed. I guess that's just a good me uh, metaphor for critical thinking. What things? It's a maintenance, and I think you would be incredible at work. Here are the fireberries and the water you gathered before. You'll need to get them water pump working again, and the fuel mixed. Find the information you need when you enter the room on the left. That one? Okay. But feel free to enter the room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. Something else to ask? I'll be here. I've never done this before. Makes it more exciting. Alright. Dead bears. Cup of tea. Let's stick. Yes, he does. Alright, so that's just a collection of network based things. Tape. Oh! Hamar? Pardon me, sorry. Oh! Oh, no! Hmm. Yep, that's uh, normal. Okay, though. Stop licking it, arse! Think of forks. Telephony. But on. Oh, look at all the big cats. Me too, because frankly I can't be bothered. Mathematical problem. I won't try to solve it. I have other things to do. Robert kind of thing this machine counts. Just not wires, how does it work? Teapot! Teapot with forks and spoons. Uh, many things to look at. Yes, yeah, the king. Gloves. Oh wait, I came for that door. Oh, but this one. That word can open it later. Okay. Oh! Can I do anything with this yet? No. Back. No. Examine the box. I feel like I'm supposed to click on the minutiae, the details, or do I need to do something else? Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Nope. Not something I need to do yet then. Let's get the back out of here. Buttons to press everywhere. I wonder what this machine does. Does many things I've done with that. I suppose that's accurate. Put wall newels? Do it. I don't know what a wall newel is. <gasps> Finally, the pencil sharpener. Beaker. Uh, damaged. Winky wonk 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 wonk. We 
Yeah, I have tape. for this to work properly, don't I? These would be on fire in this reality. No? I bet they need to be here at all. So to me that would say was on, because this way should be closed, that way should be open. It will need to be part loom. I don't feel like there's any fuel and that's the problem, but... Pump is now filled with water. No! Not on fire anymore. Here's me, demon friend. Um, is missing. Okay. <laughs> Blue horse, ready to yours. We're going to get somewhere. Alrighty then, I've got some thinking to do. I'm just going to pause this recording because this is going to take me a day. Perfectly normal jump cut.
That was quite pleasant. Okay, there's wee bits like that. There's like, okay, so all this is literal then? Or it's not just in Fran's head? And then there's other bits that's like, it's in Fran's head? Or, I don't know. Oh, good though. Did I hit recording again? I <laughs> didn't hit recording again. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. Uh, the only thing I got while I was paused was some more tube. But, uh... I don't know what to do with the tube, other than that the tubes are here. Oh yeah, did I, I don't remember if I showed this, did I? I've kind of been wobbling about for a bit, like... I don't remember. Ooh, there's a tube. Green octopus hose, alright. Jesus, I'm right back. Uh, okay. What do you have inside, little bottle? That was a guess. Um. Oh, maybe it doesn't let me do it wrong. Oh. Inside you now have an NGM. Should be turned on in order to work. Do I need to be not in Looneyville to do this stuff? Hey, hold on. There's a freaking clue on the wall. Read the clue first. <coughs> oh, right, okay. Do -do -do -do. So I need to put the fire berries on that in the ultra reality, which is Looneyville. Boinka. Uh, for them? No. Oh. There. Hmm. Well. Tits, what am I supposed to do here then? I don't freaking know. Right, I think this needs to be sorted at first. Um, I need a strong source of fire. And my brain. <sighs> this must be it. Because that needs to be on, because that leads to the chemically nonsense, so...
Just a spectrum green. That's literally piss orange. I still have matches. I fucking still have matches. Did what? Did it did it do it? Does that mean I can do this too then? I've got a fucking book of matches for goodness sake. coming for the pipes, so the pipes are over here. Am I supposed to do something here? Wobbly buttons, see what you do. Ding dang or any. Now go upstairs. Mm, nope. Shut up, phone. Light your goddamn soul. Did I seriously accidentally the fucking fuel? But nothing bloody else. I bet I'm missing something with this. It has to be. Well, let's make it as if it's doing something, so can I match this now? Oh! Yeah. Shut up, phone. <laughs> Myself quite well too. I did all you asked of me. Very well, fine. Everything seems to be working. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I want to ask you if you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm deeply afraid of it. You help me get rid of it. A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. All well, things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is that a chocolate rabbit? Common with horns and killer. Yes. Eyes. D. You have to see it for yourself. Pink nose and blue boots. Just sitting there, not blinking, no movement, just staring all the time. It does sound very scary, so please show it to me, otherwise I will never know. Brave yard, follow me now. So much for not trusting him. Just sitting there, isn't that strange? Maybe it's scared. Please try to make contact with it. I don't dare touch it. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. Pencil. <gasps> there you are. See? Fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be afraid of. Don't go. Mr. Midnight, that's not funny. Hey, be stealing my kitten. Take the top button for Bye bye. 
है ना Boy, boring. He's hungry. Have cat. He has eaten now. He's hangry. Oh, I got it. No, it was just a time thing. Right. Derp. This is very obviously battery. Hmm. It's a tree. Oh, man. Supposed to feed this thing until it pops, it's a freaking robot. Just gonna start spraying. Which is I think the little adorable robot arm is cute. Oh right, it's sad times. Okay, good.
Brr. Right, so those numbers actually had an indication that I need to do some things. I was just reading words. Oh. Oh, right, aye. Of course. One, two. There's three. Death. So, one, two, three. Blind, bro. Four, five. I'm doing it this way because I'm sure they're changing in the next world. Yeah. Eight, right? Eight, right. Five, right? Eight, right? Five, right? Eight, left. So, eight, right? Five, right? Eight, left? Six, right? Nine left. So, eight right, five right, eight left, right six, left side. I think. Baby. Oh yeah, let's not go to dead parent. That's not very nice. Um. Done the thing. It wasn't locked. You mad fool you. Surprise! Happy birthday! Yeah, that's just the happiest skeleton you ever did see. You lied to me. In order to keep your attention in another direction. Not to fool you, my friend. Wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat the cake. Thank you. You really surprised me. Thank you. Greetings, like you told me which ones. We have something very special for you from all the members of the ship. It's all of us, naturally, born and made beings. Robot A, Teddies, Skull with Horns, the Hourglass. Hope you find it educational. Can I open it? Yes, go ahead and open it. Hey. Cat doll, thank you so much. I love it, it is beautiful. You give your eyes new perception, you know. Wait, okay. Is that what happens when I take the red pills? Depends. Would you like some explanations? See. What you've seen is a mixture of different realities, and the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. Example, at this exact corner of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, and just invisible to the human eye. Because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm not sure. I think, maybe. Feel a bit dizzy. It's probably because you haven't eaten in theoretically a while. Might be the ship going up and down. Blowing the candles, about to reach our destination. We're about to go home. Did you hear that? Yes, we're about to arrive. How exciting. Alright, here I go. Oh, 
Recruit and continues. Get the word. Help. Drive the machine again. Well, I think driver was trying to pick a miles. F5, you have to get rid of it. And fast. How do I do that? Water. That cleans the dirt. Me too. That's what I was twatting about way upstairs. I need to be here to see it. Look at that up there, you dizzy cow. Slipping down. Is the door open now or? No. <gasps> oh, the bunny's now, friend. Hello. <coughs> oh, the stupidest thing in dear me. If I should speak the word first. You just got to Let's see. You wee hee me. Please, sir, I need your help. Can't find it. But I did, my guy, and he wasn't there. Do I need to be here? Oh, he's been a douchebag, that he is. Right. Beans. I'm getting impatient, but, you know. Have some water. I got a mouth inside my mouth. Just... Fake off. Take you home. You're going down. going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. Yeah, gotta keep The end. That's a very sad ending, but tell me another story, please. This is a story of Fran, Bo and me. Promise never to forget about me. Or about the magic of everything. Time to sleep. prescription. <sighs> I 
and I'm going to stop now. And I'll pick it back up with the second part of this chapter. Um, <laughs> I think going forward, there's a. It goes sad, scary, weird, scary, tense, sad, in that order. But um, there's not much left to this chapter, and I think the last chapter is really relatively short. And the worst part of this is the puzzles, but. No. Well.